our job, and I believe very firmly the job of public education, is to contribute to the public good. We understand the responsibility we have, and we're not okay with status quo. We don't want to do things the way that everyone else is doing them. Education is not preparation for life, education is life itself. We want to support students who might otherwise fall through the cracks because that's real life. Those are the students who are in our communities. We want to be better people, but it's expensive. And when you don't have that support, when you don't have the money, it's easier to quit than to keep moving. Knowing that the school has value in, in a veteran is, I mean, it's essential for anybody really. If they see that they're valued, they're going to perform better. And I think that the school really does an exemplary job of making it known that veterans are valued. Without the Veterans Center, I definitely wouldn't be here today. Um, definitely wouldn't be my second year of college. I feel a great sense of gratitude towards the Vet Center because I feel that they're giving me my future. The majority of our students are first generation college students. And with that comes a sense of exploration. I give everything to be here, and this school gives everything to keep me here. We understand that as we continue to develop students to be active global citizens in a competitive workforce, that we have an opportunity for our students to stand out by investing in their leadership abilities. When I got to college, I really felt that because I was getting support left and right. It just lets me know that I, I have to make it and that I have to do this, not only for me, but for them, because I plan to be tomorrow's leader. It's not merely about preparing students to get jobs. It doesn't stop with professions. It's about good people. It's about good citizenry. It's about contributing. Right now I'm pursuing a bachelor's in human development, so I can later on get a master's in social work. And the goal is to be a social worker to help veterans reintegrate back into civilian life once they exit the military. Even though not all students would have the experience of being a foster youth or a veteran, they bring that experience into our classrooms. And other students who have had maybe a more traditional path to college learn from their peers. We are innovative. We do have a pioneering spirit. And our students understand the responsibility to make a difference. I might not be perfect, but I know that this school, it's perfect for me. We started out with that spark of making a difference and staying connected to the communities. And we have sustained that through innovative thinking, through academic excellence, and through a commitment to access for students in the region. CSUSM specializes in cycling things out and through so the students learn it and then immediately they're out there into the community. And to me, because you have people thinking from all those different components, we're creating more dynamic students. We're only 25 years old. That in the history <laughs> of institutions, that's really, really young. As I'm working, going around the country and I tell the story of Cal State San Marcos of how the Division of Community Engagement works about programs like the Alliance, about our expansion of athletics, people are amazed at how far ahead of the game we are. We're really excited about where we are right now in having kind of blazed this trail into Division II and the CCA. And this is going to be the place to be and, and where you want to bring kids to watch college players that you want them to emulate and role models. Our kids will be out in the community doing a lot of camps and clinics. I see kids at the gym, I'm like, that was me, like, looking at a player, like, I want to go to Cal State San Marcos, I want to come to school, I want to be like them. I feel happy I can be in that position to be someone to be looked up to. There's the opportunity at a university to take risks that you can't necessarily do commercially. But also, it's a place where all these different ideas and creative thinkers can come together and, and you can get a melding of some really special work that you wouldn't otherwise. We're working towards a dream. We're working towards an ideal. And it's going to take time. And we all understand that this is a generational investment. Life happens. We know that. We know there will be challenges. But hopefully those challenges won't stem as much from having some gap in academic preparation. Being a first generation student, having the promise of being able to come to Cal State San Marcos definitely takes the stress off. It makes you want to do your best because you know that you have people that are rooting for you. It's that thing of the students awakening to their own power to create change. Just being able to partner in a student's awakening 
to not only the community around them, but their own abilities is a really special thing. We're keeping students at our center and at our heart. That wouldn't be happening unless we were together and looking to a vision that will move us forward. So we as a faculty are deeply involved in our research because it makes us better teachers. But because of the kind of institution we are, we actively engage our undergraduates in the research that we do. Is that interaction with a faculty member who's trying to answer a new question that has never been answered before. And that's truly authentic learning. Cal State San Marcos is, is giving their students an opportunity not only to learn, but to grow as an individual. I feel like it enhanced the way I am able to work with other people in my field and my professionalism. To me, that's transformative education. That's not just sitting in a classroom, but actually needing to use those critical thinking skills to say, how am I going to approach this problem to come to a solution that's going to lead to a higher quality of life? I tell students, you know, you might forget the history you learn in this class, but hopefully you'll be able to come out with an actual skill. And that's how to look around the world critically, to think beyond numbers and the bottom line, to think of the greater world around you. Rather than a robot and kind of the machine upon graduation, it teaches you how to make a difference. We're teaching our students to be flexible thinkers. There's just no one way to do something. Solving a problem takes the input of many members. So for me, it is the relationships with our community partners. We could not do it without them. To be committed with other like-minded individuals to say, together we can actually make a difference here. Who doesn't love that? When you think about an investment in research at this institution, the, the knock-on effects are pretty big. It's not just going to be solving critical issues that matter in the given field that the folks are involved in. It's going to be an increase in human capital. It's going to be changing the lives of, of students, changing the lives of the folks whose issues you're working on. We're not just doing this for the sake of learning, but actually to go ahead and help a, a, a whole community. Having palliative care as one of the components of a university is critical. We have researchers who are currently actively engaged in the pursuit of those topics. And our great hope is that they're going to take this out into the local and beyond uh, healthcare settings and be able to help be a part of that change. I think some part of everybody wants to save the world and that is a huge driving force in me. I know that the experiences that I'm getting here are setting me up and I know that I'm going in the right direction to get to where I want to be. For me, that's not academic, that's personal. Seeing the people who are benefiting from the work that we do, that's what gets me up in the morning. <laughs>